We are the Gujarat Technological University. Since its inception over a decade ago, GTU has been empowering young and curating minds to realize their true potential. Over 4 lakh inspired students are enrolled with one of the premier academic universities in India. With more than 450 affiliated colleges in its fold operating across 5 zones of the state, GTU, the International Innovative University, your place to move forward. Hello friends, welcome in lecture of fluid mechanics subject. Myself, Mites Patel and I am an assistant professor in a mechanical department at a Dr. Subhas Technical Campus, Chunagad. Today's our lecture topic is a Buckingham's Pi Theorem. So in this lecture, we discuss about the statement of Pi Theorems and or the application of Pi Theorems and how the problem is solved through the pi theorems so let's start the lecture first of all buckingham pi theorems and methods of dimension analysis with the help of this theorem we can develop the equation of n number of dependent variables which can be not possible in a rayleigh's method of dimension analysis because if the number of vari dependent variables is in large then this method is more laborious and difficult. So this problem of Riley's method is overcome into the Buckingham's Pi theorem or method. Now statement of Buckingham's Pi method. If there are n variables dependent or independent in a dimensionally homogeneous equation and if these variables contain m fundamental dimensions fundamental dimension means m l t then the variables are arranged into n minus m dimensionless terms these dimensionless terms are called pi terms okay and from the pi terms we can find out the arbitrary value of arbitrary powers and then we have to find out the relational equation okay now we see in the procedure for solving the problem by buckingham's pi theorem let's start the procedure okay the resisting force r of supersonic plane during the flight can be considered as a dependent upon the length of aircraft L, velocity V, air viscosity mu, air density rho, bulk modulus of air K and express the functional relationship between the variables and resisting force. Okay. Now, the solution of this problem with the help of pi theorem so first of all the resisting force r depends upon a length of aircraft l velocity v viscosity mu air density rho bulk modulus k hence r is a function of l v mu rho and k mathematically so r is equal to function of l v mu rho k okay so it can also be written as a function one of r resistance force r length of aircraft l velocity of air v mu viscosity of air mu density of air rho and bulk modulus k is equal to zero now total number of variables we have a uh, six variables so n is a number of variables the value of variables is a six and number of fundamental dimensions we have a m l t 
so it's a 3 so number of fundamental dimension is denoted by m so m value is 3 now we have to decide the number of pi terms that can be defined by the n minus m value so we know that what is the n and what is the m n is a number of variable and m is the value of fundamental dimensions that is a 3 m value is 3 and number of variable we have a 6 so 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 though we have 3 variables for this for solve this problem okay we have to take a 3 pi terms to solve this problem okay now we have to find out the MLT form of all elements or variables first of all resistance force so we know that the unit of force is a Newton force mass into acceleration so m into meter per second square this is a mass so kg into meter per second square so its MLT is a m l t minus 2 ok so m l t minus 2 now velocity MLT we know that meter per second square sorry meter per second so l t minus 1 viscosity unit is a Newton into meter per second square ok sorry Newton into second per meter square unit of viscosity so we have find out the MLT M L minus 1 T minus 1 density volume mass per unit volume so m upon l minus 3 and bulk modulus is a k is equal to dp change in pressure upon volumetric strain dv by v ok volumetric strain so strain having a no unit so unit of bulk modulus is a pressure newton per meter square ok so MLT of bulk modulus is a pressure uh, pressure MLT M L minus 1 T minus 2 ok now start the further procedure now go for the further procedure we have decided the pi term how much pi terms are used for this problem 3 pi terms and then this is decided by N minus 1 we have get the value of N minus 1 is a 3 this divide the we have to take a 3 pi term to solve the problem now each pi term having a variables how much variables is there in the pi term that is defined by the m plus 1 so m is a fundamental dimension value 3 3 plus 1 is a 4 so each pi term having a 4 variables ok so now we write the pi 1 pi 2 and pi 3 so we have three pi term and each pi term having a four variables so first of all we have to decide a repeating variables and then non repeating variables so rules of repeating variable is a first repeating variables is take from the geometrical property so we have a six variables in which l is a geometrical property so L variable is taken as a first repeating variables and now second repeating variables is taken a flow property of fluid. So we have a six variables in this flow property of fluid is a velocity or acceleration. So here a velocity is taken as a second repeating variables and third repeating variable is taken from the category of property of fluids so property of fluids in six variable defined by the viscosity and density so you can take a viscosity or density any one from two so here we can take the density as a repeating variable 
so it's the name of repeating variable it repeats in all p three pi term as shown in slide so write the l v n row l v n row l v n row in each pi term now write the arbitrary power to the repeating variable any power you can take so here a1 b1 and c1 a2 b2 and c2 a3 b3 and ct okay now we have to put the non repeating variable in each pi term so remaining variable is taken as a non repeating variable so each uh, each pi term having a any one non repeating variable so three non repeating variables are left resisting force viscosity mu and bulk modulus so any pi term taken in any of three of one okay so gamme te pan lai shako mu che tame pi 1 term ma pan lai shako r che pi 2 pu am pan aavi shake ena thi kai fark padse nahi so not any change in a value or any equation if the any non repeating variable are consider into the any pi term okay now we have to start the further procedure now we have to comparing the mlts so first of all we take the first pi term and and write a pi term into the mlt forms of all variables okay so pi term is a dimensionless number so it's not having mlt so it's m l and t is a zero now l now in right side of pi 1 term l v rho and r so put the value put the mlts of all these variables l mlt is a l velocity mlt l t minus 1 and density mlt is we find out in first mlt minus 1 and resisting force look at mlt mlt minus 2 now write also the arbitrary power respectively of each variables as mentioned in slide okay now we have to compare the mlt power left side and right side of the equation okay so first power of m is compare left side and right side we know that the left side having a no mlts so power of m is a zero to left side right side we having a m power is a c1 plus 1 okay now we comparing the power of l so left side power of l is a zero and right side a1 b1 minus 3c1 and 1 okay now we comparing the power of t at left and right side left side 0 equal to minus b and minus 2 okay now c1 is equal to minus 1 and b1 is equal to minus 2 the put the value of c1 and b1 so we get the value of a1 minus 2 now we have uh, all value of powers a1 b1 and c1 so put the value of powers in this equation of pi 1 term okay so according to power we arrange the all variables so r upon l square v square upon rho okay here l having a power a1 so a1 value is a minus 2 so l having a power minus 2 v having a power b1 so b1 value is minus 2 so we have a power minus 2 rho having a power c11 sorry c1 so c1 value is minus 1 so rho having a minus 1 power so now 
arrange the equation according to power so pi1 is equal to r upon l square v square into rho okay now sec v same procedure follow for the second pi term pi2 term the all variables of pi2 term uh, write into the form of mlt's and compare the power of m l and t's and find the value of arbitrary power so here we have find the value of arbitrary power c2 is equal to minus 1 b2 is equal to minus 1 and a2 value is a2 value is also minus 1 so put the value of power in pi2 term so we get the so we arrange the variable according to power mu upon lv rho so pi2 is equal to mu upon lv rho similarly third pi term procedure is follow into the third pi term the all variables of third pi term write in form of mlt's first and then compare the power of m l and t and find the value of arbitrary power a3 b3 and c3 okay a3 value is 0 b3 value is minus 2 and c3 value is minus 1 so here l power is 0 v power is b3 so minus 2 and rho power is c3 c3 is a minus 1 so rho power is minus 1 so here pi 3 term having a k upon v square into rho now is substituting the value of pi1 pi2 and pi3 in equation 3 and equation 3 is a this equation so in this equation function of pi1 pi2 and pi3 the put the value of pi1 pi1 pi2 and pi3 equal to 0 now rearrange the equation the resistance for are uh, depend on the other variables so resistance is a main in this equation so write in this way the equation this pi term is equal move to one side of equal and other pi terms is write into the other side of equal and phi is a constant now we write as a relational equation in this manner and this is the final relational equation developed by the phi theorem for a resistance force to given de dependent variables okay now we take one another example so can you can get easily how the example is solved through the phi the theorem so here efficiency of a fan depends on the density rho dynamic viscosity mu of fluid angular viscosity omega di diameter d of the rotor and discharge q express the efficiency in terms of dimensionless parameters okay so we have to find the relational equation for the efficiency so first of all write the equation into the manner efficiency is a function of given dependent variables density mu angular velocity diameter and discharge okay and we also can write in this form or in this form either in this form or either in this form okay we have a variables number of variables is a 6 and fundamental dimension have a value of 3 m l and t so 3 so we have a we required pi term is a n minus m so we have a, to write a 3 pi term to solve this problem now we find the all ML, uh, mlts of all variables so density we know that mlt minus 1 kinematic viscosity mlt ml minus 1 t minus 
the unit is a newton into second per meter square angular velocity is a radian per second so radian is not count in a fundamental dimension only second is count so angular velocity mlt is only count a second so t minus 1 for angular velocity so not this mlt of angular velocity now diameter mlt is l discharge volume per unit time L cube T minus 1. Okay. Now you write the pi 1, pi 2, pi 3, and each pi term having a variables m plus 1. So each pi term having a four variables. So m value is 3 plus 1. So 4. So each pi term having a four variables. So first we find out the repeating variables. First repeating variables is taken from the category of geometrical property so geometrical is property defined by the diameter so first repeating variable is a diameter second repeating variable is select from the category of fluid flow property the flow property is defined by the velocity so here a angular velocity is a second repeating variable and third repeating variable is considered from the category of fluid property so fluid property is defined by the viscosity density so here we consider the oh sorry we have select the density as a third repeating variable okay and now fourth repeating variable is a any left variable we have taken for in a any one pi term so here is a efficiency here is a viscosity kinematic and discharge q okay now first take the pi term first pi term and write the pi term in form of abnormalities which we have find in start now the find the value of arbitrary power through comparing the power left and right side of mlts okay first Comparing the value of m, left side and left side. Pi term is a dimensionless number, so it's not having MLTs. So all power of m, l, and t at the left side is a zero. Okay. Now comparing the power of m. So left side is zero. Right side m power is a c1 plus zero less c1 plus zero. Okay. Now power of l is compared left side and right side left side 0 right side a1 plus minus 3c1 and 0 ok now power of t comparing by minus b1 and 0 ok so all value of all value of MLTs are 0 ok or MLTs values are 0 so the power of our values are 0 so equation is efficiency is equal to efficiency so he note that here we know that if the variable is dimensionless, the efficiency is a dimensionless term in a, in a non-repeating variable, then we not have to require to solve this or find the value of arbitrary power. If the variable is dimensionless, itself is a pi term. Here the variable efficiency is dimensionless and hence efficiency is a pi term as it exists in a first pi term and hence pi 1 is equal to efficiency then there is a no need to equating the powers and directly value can be obtained so we we don't have a required to follow the procedure we directly we can write the pi is equal to efficiency if the non-repeating variable is dimensionless 
So efficiency is dimensionless. We directly write pi is equal to pi one is equal to efficiency. Okay. We don't have to require the sorry. We don't have to follow the procedure. We directly write it. Now solve the second pi term. Write the all variables in form of appletes. Okay. Now comparing the power of m, l, and t, left and right side, both side, and put the value of a to b to c to in this pi term. So d having a to power, so a to value is a minus two. So d have a power minus two. Omega have a b to power, so b to value is a minus one. So omega having a minus one. Density having a power c two. So C2 value is minus one. So rho having a power minus one and mu is a power less. Now, according to power, rearrange the all variables. So pi two is equal to mu upon d square into omega into rho. Okay. Now similarly, for pi three term, write the pi three term variables into MLT form. And comparing the MLT at left side and right side, and find the value of arbitrary power a3 b3 and c3, and value of a3 b3 c3 write in a pi three term equation, and according to power, rearrange the variable q upon d square into omega. So pi three is equal to q upon d square w. So all three pi term we have find out. So first equation is a Function function of pi one, pi two, and pi three is equal to zero. So here the put the value of pi one, pi two, and pi three. So function of efficiency mu upon d square omega rho comma q upon d square omega is equal to zero. Now we have to find out the equation for a efficiency or expression for efficiency. So efficiency. Is the other side of equal and equal other side of equal and the other variables or other pi terms are on other side of equal and constant is defined phi. Okay, and this is the relational equation. Okay, I hope you are very well understand what is the statement of Buckingham's pi theorem and. How the problem is solved through the Buckingham Pi theorem? Okay. Thank you, friends.